What is going on guys? My name is Patrick aka Chief Pat and today bringing you guys a brand new video. All right, so as you can notice, my voice is a little bit gone. I just spent a week in Cancun, and I'm finally back, and I'm actually in San Francisco filming a class challenge today, which is going to be amazing, but I thought I'd do a Let's Play before I head out, and let's go ahead and upgrade some stuff around our base. So first of all, I'm going to upgrade that first cold storage that we've been talking about. I think over the last three episodes, people have been begging me to upgrade that, and then I'm also going to do that cannon that I've been talking about, and then for the rest of the gold, I definitely want to make sure that I upgrade the other gold storage, and then also I'm going to upgrade either the test or the, um, uh, I guess, the air defense. So those are really two of my last defensive upgrades. And then I'm going to, again, keep focusing on walls just a little bit and start upgrading some of the barracks with my elixir. And let's go ahead and attack a couple of these first bases. All right, so looking at this first base here, this one is a pretty standard base. I was using Barch. I've sort of been switching it back and forth. And I think I've talked about previously the advantages of Barch and the lazy farming strategy that I like to use. And uh, in a case like this, mine probably would have been better the lazy farming strategy because I could have just used goblins to get it. Uh, but for Barch, Barch is usually better when you're trying to get through multiple um, layers of walls. So let's say that this guy had a bunch of his mines and pumps inside of the first layer of his walls. It probably would have been a little bit better to use Barch. But it still doesn't matter. All I have to do is drop my barbarians and archers around the base. And after they destroy that final elixir collector, I am at 54%. Pretty much nothing else to get but this last elixir collector on the left-hand side. And after that goes down, we're good to go. And that's going to wrap it up this raid. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and end the battle there. We got nine trophies, 333,000 gold, 278,000 elixir. Again, at Town Hall 7, you get a crazy amount of resources. And I think I've been saying for the last two years that Town Hall 7 is pretty much my favorite Town Hall level. Um, I'm going to have to check out how Town Hall 8 is. I haven't been Town Hall 8 for a long time. I want to check how the resources are compared to how, it t to how it used to be when maybe not a lot of people were Town Hall 10. Um, but I think Town Hall 8 still might be pretty solid. I'm just going to have to check that out one more time. But let's go ahead and attack this next base here and uh, see if we can break into the center of his base. So obviously he doesn't have a lot of elixir. He only has 150,000, which is still fine. It's going to cover the amount of resources that it's going to take for my army composition. But it has 284,000 gold. And like I've told you guys, gold is pretty much all I'm going for at this phase of Town Hall 7. So let me just go ahead and drop my troops on the bottom right-hand side and break my way throughout his base. I decided decided to go down here because the mortar was pretty far away. I didn't have to deal with that one wizard tower up top. And overall, I thought it was the easiest place to attack from, as well as I could get both of the storages because there's a pretty good amount inside of those. And then now I'm just going to surround myself around the base, and it looks like we're doing a pretty good job of taking those guys out. All right, so all the storages are down. There's only two gold mines left, one on the top right, which is about to go down to my king, and then one more right here that's going to go down to those goblins. And after those go down, I don't think I really have enough left to actually destroy the rest of this base plus i think i was having some connection errors because you see that little wi-fi symbol pop up in the center um so i needed to make sure i wrapped up the raid as soon as possible that way i didn't lose my connection or lose anything else so uh, yeah it's phone started freaking out just a little bit i'm just gonna end the battle there 284,000 resources 143,000 elixir 11 trophies another really solid raid even though we didn't get that much elixir we definitely did get gold which is our number one priority so raid number three, let's check out what we got going on. It's still a lot of resources, 600,000 on the outside of the base. I don't see any reason why we would need to get into the center of the base. I might try to get 50% just because my trophy count's a little bit low. Plus the town hall is on the outside, so that's going to give me a two star against this base. And let me just start off by dropping a couple of archers because you always want to drop archers first. I know sometimes I have a bad habit of just dropping my goblins nonstop, but if you want to be the most efficient raider possible, you want to drop all your archers around the base first, destroy all of the mines and pumps that you can, without dropping any goblins um, plus the army camps and stuff like that and then the ones that you can't destroy just by using archers you're going to use your goblins so for example that gold mine right there I couldn't use an archer so I had to use some goblins plus on the left hand side I had to use some goblins these ones up here I'm going to have to use some goblins um, but there are certain buildings that my archers can destroy by themselves and I'm not going to have to drop a bunch of troops only to have them blown up by the cannons and the archer tower because you got to remember that every single troop that you drop into the raid you're not going to be getting back unless it's an archer queen or a bar barbarian king and that pretty much takes away the profit of your raid and it's going to make uh, it more time for you to train up your troops again and overall uh, it's just going to make you a less efficient raider all right so final building right there got me to 50 percent seems like that was pretty solid 219,000 gold 267,000 elixir a Fat bonus of 6,000, uh, I guess, combined, plus 10 trophies. Solid rating, and uh, let's go ahead and see if we can do it one more time with another raid. 
All right, so this guy here is pretty much the same tale. I've been finding a lot of guys with most of their stuff inside of the Mines and Pumps, and if you guys search long enough, you guys can find them as well. I know I get a lot of people in the videos who think I just find these bases base after base, um, or that I'm some super lucky raider, but the thing is, I don't sacrifice, or I don't settle, I guess, for those bases that aren't um, going to be super profitable bases to attack. Sometimes I'll find bases with like 500,000 resources, but it'll be a semi-upgraded Town Hall 9. And in that case, I'm probably not going to attack it and see if I can find something better to attack because I might attack that base and only get 100,000 resources. And then I'm going to be stuck with the fact that I'm going to have to train a bunch of new troops. I'm going to have to spend all that time. Or if you're going to speed up your troops using gems, you're going to have to spend all of those gems. Um, so sometimes it's better to be patient and look for the perfect base. I know I did a video a while back when I talked about what bases to attack. So if you guys search that in the YouTube uh, search engine, you guys can definitely find that pretty easily, how to find the perfect base to attack. Um, and bases like these are definitely the ones you want to take advantage of most of the stuff inside of the mines and pumps maybe he's not the most uh or i guess the best upgraded base pretty simple to get to and i know that it's guaranteed that i'm going to be able to destroy everything and get all the resources that i need all right so right now we've stolen all the gold that is the most important thing i am trying to break my way through right here you can see that i decided to drop most of my troops on this bottom hand side so i could get to those two elixir pumps it did take a little bit longer than what i wanted to but i did end up getting those elixir pumps in the end and now there's only one more elixir pump up here you can see i'm dropping all of my goblins i'm hoping that that wizard tower stays distracted long enough and seeing as there are a couple of archer t archers shooting over the top it worked out perfectly i got all the resources from this raid i ended the battle and we ended up with over 600,000 resources so really good raids today again I found a lot of really good bases they usually took me about maybe three or four minutes to find each base sometimes I find them right away it's definitely not like the Champions League where I'm searching um, maybe for like 25 35 minutes at a time to find someone with over 10 trophies it's not too bad to search for these bases and even at a thousand trophies which isn't the most optimal trophy level I found a lot of resources today and let's go ahead and do the upgrades around the base all right so I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade that gold storage I'm gonna upgrade that cannon on the top right like I said I do want to spend some of this leftover gold. I have 1.35 million gold left. I did want to upgrade this Tesla over the air defense, seeing as I don't get attacked by balloons and minions a lot, but I am just a little bit short. So I'm going to spend it on the air defense to instead, which is a six day upgrade. And then for the final builder, I'm just going to go ahead and drop that on my last level 10 collector. And I do have all level 11 gold mines. So I'm perfect as far as gold mines and elixir pumps go. Most of the rest of my upgrades around the base are looking good. One thing from this episode that I did forget to do is join a clan. So I promise in the very next episode, if you guys drop your clan tag in the clan or in the comment section below, I'm going to go ahead and join a clan in the beginning. When I start filming the episode, I'm going to talk to some of the clan mates while I do it. And then towards the end of the episode, I'm going to have to leave the clan. I'll say goodbye. Um, and it'll just be a pretty fun way to interact with you guys on a daily basis on my Let's Play series. So yeah, that's going to wrap it up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a like. Make sure to drop your clan tag and I will see you guys in the next episode. Also, follow me on Twitter because I will be posting updates for the class challenge that's coming out soon. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.